guys, it's Christine Grace. Welcome to the Red Pill Bachelor. Today we are joined by Mr. Sterling Cooper. Howdy. We've got some lovely ladies lined up. Um, so yeah, we're gonna let Sterling have a couple of dates and then get the ladies' thoughts and get Sterling's thoughts. Stay tuned. So, Sterling, you're about to embark on your first date with our... Well, it's not, like, it's not my first date, but... First date with one of our ladies. Better. How are you feeling? I've done this a, a few times, so I'm okay. So you're well prepared. I mean, no, I wouldn't say I'm well prepared because I don't know what they look like. That is true, that is true. Okay, great. Let's head straight into it. Hey, I'm Ayu She. Nice to meet you. Ayu She. Ayu She. Not not with an N. Ayu She. Spell it for me phonetically. So it's like I U She. That That's easy. Yeah, exactly. That's an easy way to remember names. It's like yeah. you, you, you break it out. You turn it into like images. In yeah, your head. exactly. And mine is like basically all the pronouns put together. I U She. I U She. Yeah. You don't yeah, have, but you don't have. You're not one of those pronoun people, are you? What's a pronoun? Person? You know, the person who has like a Twitter or a Reddit oh, oh, bio. No, 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 no. They got all like. They, them, he, her. Yeah, no, 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 no. Zizos. No. I'm, I'm, no? I identify as she, her. Well, well, just, Do you identify? Just, you don't need to use that language. Just say. <laughs> I'm a woman. <laughs> Bingo. Yes. <laughs> that works. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay, you're not a pronoun person. I'm. What gave it away? Okay. Uh, well, what gave it away? The fact that you asked me if I'm a pronoun person. <laughs> Yeah. But you're not from London. Uh, how? What gave that away? My Your accent's ex. a bit off. I knew it. A bit off. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I, I'm, guess, guess where I'm from. What, what does my accent scream? Give, give me an animal that would help me locate the spot. A bald eagle. American. <laughs> Such you could have given me like a, a slightly more mysterious animal. That's true. What, what like the have, national animal. True. What would you have said if... Where in America are you from? New Jersey. A rat. A rat? Oh, that's more New York. That's New York. That's yeah, true. Enough. Okay, that's rat's good. Yeah, that could have... I would, yeah, you would have guessed New York and then I would have been like close. Close enough. Yeah, exactly. It, what's the difference? New York and New Jersey? Well... There's a massive difference. New York is Elaborate. way better. Tell me. Like, you're, you're, not, you're saying New York's better? Of course. You're not, not going to defend like, no, your home I'm not turf? Gonna no, I'm not going to defend New Jersey, unfortunately. It's just, there's nothing to defend there. It's like a suburban, just a very family neighborhoody place with crime. And well, a family whole... neighborhoody place with crime? Yeah, that, I think that's what the, so like where your the problem is. Your local drug dealer and like baby strollers. <laughs> exactly. Sounds it's, like it's, very, it's everything. I've never been. This sounds never like been, I've, yeah. I, think, I, I feel like you're telling me porky pies here. Uh, no, it's This it's doesn't sound realistic. Well, there's parts. Well, to be fair, the whole of the US is like a mix of crime and babies and family. And Not if you go to the Midwest. Midwest is like nice, wholesome wheat farmers and stuff. Where are you from? You can't tell from my accent. Okay. Isn't mine obvious? No, it's it's quite obvious. Yeah. Where whereabouts in Australia? Better. Yeah. There yeah. you go. I'm from the, the big bit on the left. Which is Western Australia. West. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it's on the left. Right? Well. Yeah. Fair. But like. Yeah. Every, you don't even look at a map one way. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. True. You don't look at a map one way. Yeah. 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 But wait, um, isn't wait, isn't like Jersey Shore from New Jersey? I think. Isn't that a thing? The, the, yeah, it is. I think, How I long think have you so. not been in America? A long time. Okay, this is making yeah, sense. Yeah, exactly. It's been a while. I don't know what's happened. To like how long's a while? Since. I was there when I was like twelve, and okay. that was a, a lot of years back. Um, yeah. I'm over eighteen. Just putting that out there. <laughs> over. Okay, I, I assumed that. <laughs> yeah. But thank you for clarifying. Yeah. Just... I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> This is, uh, this is good. Um, well, yeah, well, uh, it's been a while. I was, I'm actually Indian. Um, I'm, no way. Yeah. D why is that, is that surprising? No. Okay. <laughs> but I'm, <laughs> I'm Indian. 
so I was in India for a bit and then I came to London like six or seven years ago. Huh. Yeah. What's it, I've never been to India. What's it, what's the, what is the biggest like cultural difference between living in India versus living in like London? Mm, biggest cultural, well, too many. It's India is busier, crowded, less rules, dirtier. Huh. I don't miss it. I'm if I had to choose between New Jersey, and London, and India, I would have I would definitely just stay here. For yeah. as long as possible. Be- London beats all the other two. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just safer. It's easier to get from one place to another. You don't need a car. You can just hop onto the tube. Safe, safe. Like, isn't London the knife crime capital of the world? True, true. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> knife crime and gun violence. What yeah, yeah, fair enough. Very, and then also, like, India is just, yeah, just, well, not the rape capital, but it's not the safest. It's like, a wee bit. Yeah, it's a wee yeah. A bit grapey. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. Yeah. You've okay. never been to India? Never been to India. Would you visit? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't recommend, like people usually say, go to Delhi. <laughs> I, I say I'm going to go, like, I wouldn't recommend. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> it's the first word that comes out your mouth. No, no. <laughs> I mean, I would recommend going to like a beachy town, like Goa. Okay, a beachy as a, town. Yeah, right. as opposed to like pe- what people usually say is like um, Delhi, because Delhi is polluted and extremely crowded. And Super packed, just, right? Yeah, and people okay. just get bad. Stomach a bad issues, impression. like they oh like, yeah food like poisoning. deli belly yeah deli belly yeah okay, exactly that, yeah. That. it's like yeah. barley belly exactly okay all right mm-hmm. well, well what if I want to what if I think I have an iron stomach and I and nothing can defeat me uh, and I'm, then, fir- then I'm very firm in that belief and if you can stand the horrible smoky air then mm. I would recommend I mean I do smoke cigars so oh perfect you could just like I could just like not... counter the smoky air with my own smoky air exactly. And then I have I, I create my own haze yeah. as I walk through Delhi. Basically. Nothing can affect me. Nothing can affect you, exactly. See, I've just figured out how to, how to travel through Delhi. Yeah, you don't need your cigars. Just stand there. No. And you're, you'll be smoking. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what? why Why are you in London? Your family came, you brought you here? Like, yeah, you they did, here? actually. My I did study here. I went to Warwick. Um, I did... I actually did my master's in entrepreneurship. Um very unrelated to my career. It's an interesting thing for someone to teach at a university. It is. That seems like a bit of an oxymoron. A useless course. Like, to and I'll tell you why. Because yeah. I actually, way, way back in my mid-twenties, I knew somebody who was teaching at a local university in Western Australia, and he was teaching an entrepreneurship class. Oh. And he never run a business in his life. Really? He actually had he had me come in as a guest speaker to teach his class because I'd, I'd done yeah. some I'd done some stuff. I agree. Actually, it's not the best thing to have in like a uni course. It's just useless. Well, because what are they going to teach you? Yeah, like exactly. it's you, you're better to actually just go out into the real world and try and start a business, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah, they just spent a whole year just teaching us concepts and different things like finance, like different things that make up a business model. And then did they, they make you? Did they teach you how to make a spreadsheet, it, like a profit loss? Yeah. That was one of the modules. It was just like stuff Ugh. that you could literally can just open a book, read, read it in a day, and then. Did they emphasize learn. business plans? Yes, yes. Ugh. Business plans was like a module. The module was called business Ugh. model or plan generation, and it was just yeah. This, whoever, whoever's in charge of this needs, cancel to, be, them. needs to be fired. <laughs> needs to be fired. The whole university war. Immediately. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the rest of the university does, but whoever's in charge of that department needs to sack them. Sack. No, no, for sure. I, like this is my most was one of my most frustrating things I've ever had to deal with. Like when running business, when I've had, a, I've had a couple of businesses, when talking to like a bank, yeah, they always want like give us your five year business plan, motherfucker. That that that's, shit changes every day. Yeah, like exactly. by the time I've written it, it's different. It's different. Oh, that's so true. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. These that's people crazy. don't live in like the real world. They don't. Yeah. No, but my career is not related to entrepreneurship okay. at all. I. I'm an actress. Uh-huh. Yeah, and are you acting right now? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe. Do I? Do, do I don't think? Know. Do you think I'm acting? You'd be a good actor if you were. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, but I do like commercials, films, theater shows. First theater show. Are you up. on any like billboards in London? I'm not that famous yet. Yeah. No, is it like you've done a commercial on you? Well, I did a Nintendo. Oh, well, I did some commercials in the past. They aired for a bit, and then they don't air now so uh, okay. yeah on I, tv and stuff last time i was in dubai yeah a friend of mine there's an actor yeah and he does like 
photo shoots for yeah, ads yeah. and things. And I, re- I remember driving into a car park. Yeah. And he's there, like, on the wall as a doctor. Oh. And then I went to the cinema, like, later that week. Yeah. And the 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 doctor, like, the medical center ad that comes up, it's Kevin, like, uh, pretending to be a doctor or whatever. Like, I can't uh, get away from the guy. Yeah. So I was wondering if that, you're anywhere in London. No, I'm not, I'm not proposing to be any other profession, no. 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 You no, were like, fine. hey, I know you're not a doctor. Did you tell him, like, to, were you like, I, I took a screenshot of it and sent it to him. Like, yeah. Like, Kevin, what are you doing? Get out, get out of my life. <laughs> get out of my life. <laughs> stop, so drastic. Stop, stop showing up in there. <laughs> wow, yeah. Huh. Wait, so who's in your family? Do you have siblings? Wait, can I actually, I love doing this. This is like, can I guess what siblings you have? Sure. Okay. I think you've got a brother. Am I wrong? I have a brother, yes. You have a brother, and you have more siblings. You have one more sibling. You have a Stop half-assing the question. Commit, commit to a question. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> you have a... Make a definitive statement. How many, how many siblings older brother, do you have? Older brother. And what? And a younger sister. Wrong. Older sister. Yes. See, I was so close. But you didn't make a definitive statement. I did. You were, you were, you were kind of you were trying to cold me, read me there. Well, you were like half assed again, and you're like waiting, waiting for like the way I, I reacted true, to it. True. Yeah, you were cheating. But then you I were cheating. I cheated, but then it was your fault because you reacted and gave me the answer. Right? But also, I guess the brother thing first. Fair enough. With some hesitation. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the baby. You're the youngest. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Guess guess mine. Middle child. Why would you say that? <laughs> I feel like that's an insult. No, no. It's because, okay, you're doing acting. Mm-hmm. Acting is a very glamorous profession. Mm-hmm. Is in it gets garners a lot of attention. Mm-hmm. Middle children tend to not get the most attention. Oh, interesting. Am so I wrong? I'm like, y- yes, I have one. For all, for all that out the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just chug the analysis out. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I have one sibling. Huh. See. So you can so still I, now try I have a 50 guess. 50 flip yeah. about whether the, you're the older or the younger. And whether it's a brother or sister. Hmm. I say you're the older sister. Okay, and what is my sibling? A brother. Okay, it's the opposite. I'm a younger sibling and I have an older sister. I quit. This game is too hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, it was fine. It was. Um, hmm. I, you're wait, wait, so the answer was you're the younger sister and you have an older sister? Yes. All right, fine. Yes, yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. Um, What's your relationship like with your sister? We're so close. She's only one year, five months older than me. Oh, so okay. we're like super close, super tight. Tell yeah. her everything. Yeah. yeah. Are you close to your sibling? Very close to my sister. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But there's still, it's still a, like, my sister's seven years older than me and my oh, wow. brother's 10 years older than me. Oh, wow. Okay, well. I was literally an accident. Uh, same. <laughs> Wait, how, are you, non- wait, how are you an accident if you're so close together? Think about it. Exactly. That's why. It's like, my they had my sister. They're like, okay, we'll have a second child at some point. And then I just came out like one year later. My mom was just pregnant for nine months, and then I just come out one year later. So no, that sounds pregnant. like it's planned to me. Really? Yeah, that's not, people like people tend people tend to do like kids, and at least now they do. Like they crank them out in twos. That's true. That's what I've seen anyway. Yeah, I know that. But I true. I remember that. So the day I did um, like sex ed class back yeah. in like primary school, whatever, mm-hmm. and we learned about like the gestation period, how long it takes to make a baby. Yeah. You know whatever. And I remember like listening and then like thinking, wait a minute. My sister's got seven years on me. My brother's got 10 years on me. And I went home that night and my mom, she was sitting there like washing the dishes. Oh. And I confronted her. I was like, mom, was I a mistake? And she, <laughs> she, she, didn't, she didn't skip a beat. She, I caught her off guard. She was like, no, you were a surprise. <laughs> Flawless. That's, that's always Flawless the answer. Flawless answer. Oh my God. I was God. like, oh, cool. Okay. Surprise. What right? a way to, what it's a, a great way, way of answering that yeah. question. <laughs> But I was 100% a surprise. A surprise, Did not yeah, see me surprise. coming at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. wow. Good surprise. Nice. Yeah, mm. definitely. Thank you very much. I, th- yeah. I feel like I'm a good surprise. <laughs> I feel like I'm a good surprise. That's uh, good. I've, I've, you don't feel like you're an accident anymore. You've I don't recovered. feel like I'm, a, I'm definitely not a burden on the family. Okay, good, good. Yeah. No, the younger child, I, fellow younger child talking here, I have, I feel like younger children are just, they, they go through more stuff. They go through harder things. They really? You don't think the older one has to go through harder stuff? Because they got they got to they got to pioneer things and break break the ground first. Yeah, fair enough. But we're we're pampered. But then at the same time, because we're pampered, people don't take us seriously. Do people, hmm. or at least in my family? I mean, well, no, that's not true. They do, but I just feel like, do you have this bias that your parents love your older siblings more? Definitely not. 
No. no. So is it is the reverse? Or not love, but like, do, do you have favorites? I am. I am the favorite. Are you? Are you the favorite? I'm 100. Like, I'm my dad's. I'm my dad's favorite. Dad's favorite. See, there we go. And yeah. my sister's my mom's favorite. Okay. See, yeah. No, no. I think there's favorites too. But but the thing is, I'm my, I'm my mom's favorite. My sister's my dad's favorite. They'll never admit it. But I feel like the younger child always thinks there's favorites, and the older child's like, mm. chill out. Like that's there's there's nothing like that. And I'm like, you don't know anything. Huh. Yeah. There's no competition in my family. Everyone okay. everyone knows. You're Everyone hundred percent knows. You're the, you're Everyone the knows favorite. I'm dad's favorite. Everyone. Okay, for a so so in, in fact, it might even cause a bit of jealousy. Who knows? <laughs> well, you are actually the ba- the real baby of the family. Seven years is a huge, right. yeah, right. yeah. Babies are always the favorite. When's your what's your star sign? Oh, God. I knew it. I I knew you, you would react like that. But then also, I'm not like obsessed with star signs. But lately, I've been obsessed with star signs. Right, my star sign is pterodactyl. There you go. What? T- Do with that. Your little psychoanalysis. Oh, okay. Uh, I studied psychology in undergrad, so okay, yeah, great. That's that's where this gets. That's, that's not a red flag perceptive. at all. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that, all I'm saying. It just means I'm perceptive. All I'm saying is every girl that I that when I went to university, yeah, every girl in the psych department was there because she was trying to psych, like fix her own issues. <laughs> well, that was I'm, the pattern I noticed. That's interesting. I mean, I've never thought of it like that. I was just like, mm, I'm going to. Reading people, let's just study psychology. Yeah. Maybe. You could have been a ta- you should have been a tarot card reader. Maybe yeah. they make they make a bunch of money. Yeah, they do, yeah. I don't even no, but for, I don't believe in that stuff. But it's addictive. It's like I want to know what star sign is most compatible with mine. Do you, do you know who Darren Brown is? No, the mentalist. Oh, the guy here. Oh England. yeah, 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 yeah. His, I love his stuff. He he's like he's ma- he's like almost mad like. Yeah, it's hard to. He's a mentalist. Yeah, he, but he I, I just, yeah, I mean, he's like, it's, I don't, I don't understand how they operate. It blows my mind. Well, he's he's a, he uses a combination of like psychology and like basic magic tricks. And yeah, like, magic tricks. Yeah. What with mentalist stuff, but it's yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like if you if you want to study psychology, studying a guy like Darren Brown, yeah, is like, a, like a cheat code. It's a must because he can teach you how to like influence people. And read people. Yeah. Did you ever see that one where he like got a guy to push it off a building? No, I haven't it's watched that many. Awesome. I probably watched like one episode. Awesome. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he? What was it? It was just this really elaborate like setup where he yeah he got a dude to like come to like an award show. It was all fake, all filmed, like an all actors. Yeah. Stuff. You could have started it. Who knows? But then this dude came in and he ended up like he took him through this process of yeah. like like. Compliance, com- like compliance test after compliance test, just getting getting him to do like little things for him, little thing, little thing, little mm-hmm. thing, and eventually it led to him hiding a body, mm-hmm. and then pushing a guy off a off a roof. Like he actually influenced him to yeah. do. Oh yeah. my god! Madness. The guy That's did wasn't so it wasn't wasn't real. Like it was, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he revealed that to him afterwards, oh but it god. it wasn't like he he managed to get like five people to do it. Wow! To like push them off the roof. Super interesting That's analysis crazy. into psychology and like what you can get someone to do through like just this like, little yeses, yeah, little yeah. bits of compliance. Yeah, it's that's crazy. So, that's so weird. I mean, it's almost like hypnosis. It sounds like. I mean, yeah, well, we just bit. There's bits of that in there. Yeah, there's definitely bits imagine, of that in there. Yeah, that's what and Darren Brown does that too. Yeah, yeah. The only reason I mentioned it is because I, I literally saw a poster for him on the way here. Oh, that's why it's in my head. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Well, back to guessing star signs. Uh, yes, go on. You you, you you were pretty good at guessing what what child it was. So let's yeah. let's see let's test out your psychic abilities one more time. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sending it. I'm sending it. Mm-hmm. Scorpio, Gemini, or that's two different things. No, I'm guessing three. Um, come on, there's like twelve star signs to give me some, <laughs> or ten. I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't even know what they are. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> Scorpio, Gemini, or. Uh, what was the other one I was going to guess? Leo. Is it any of those? Yes. I, is, I, I don't know how I'm doing this. Gemini? Shit. Scorp. Le- <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it again. <laughs> Leo or Scorpio. Got it. I, so that was my first. I should just trust my instinct. What made you guess that? You have a very, like... Bold and like, like a confident like a and like a Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpios is, are just very controversial. It's a controversial star sign. Huh. That's super interesting. Yeah. Because I'm not a Scorpio. How? Why would you do that? 
You're to prove you're full of shit. What? Ge All of the stuff you just said is bullshit. <laughs> no, wait, what? Wait, Gemini. No. Leo, I'm not, I'm neither, I'm neither, not, I'm not this. <laughs> Why would you swear? <laughs> you got me thinking. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so good at this. Sorry. Okay. No, you can't keep guessing. Okay, what is Game it? Game over. You lost. Oh, what is it? No, now I'm curious. What's your story? No, I told you I'm a, I'm a potato. Potato is yep. my sauce. You, you have to tell me your birthday. Capricorn. Do I? Do, do I have to cancer. tell you? No, I don't. Wow. Okay, fine. Get, I, my, I would I just guess my birthday. It's a guessable day. Do it. What do you mean it's a guessable it's date? A, it's a guessable Any date is a guessable date. No, it's a guessable day in the sense that it's a special day that everybody knows about. Christmas. No, it's not Christmas. It's not New Year. It's not. It's not St. Patrick's Day. I'm not going to make 364 more guesses. But it's it's like, <laughs> just like one day in the winter season. Jan, Feb, special day. This date is a hint. Why is what? Why is this? What you mean, like Valentine's Day? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Good guess. Interesting. I have an awkward birthday. Feb 14th. Yep. Yeah, because that means like all your girlfriends don't want to hang out with you. They're on dates. All my girlfriends don't want to hang out with me. Oh, like they're not available to hang out with you? Uh, to celebrate your I'm not available to... Because you're on a date. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> um, no, it's usually like just... Yeah, I'm usually on a date on my birthday, which is not... I shouldn't mention that on a date. Should you tell... Do you tell them that though? What? On, when you're, if you're on a date yeah. during your, on your actual birthday, like Valentine's Day, yeah. do you ever tell the guy... Hey, it's actually my birthday today. Oh, I wouldn't just go on a first date on my birthday. That's boring. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, I would be like dating someone. Who and he would know that. Yeah, already. he would know that. Well, that's a win for him. Yeah. It's like one less thing. One less, one less thing. thing to remember. You you say that, but then no, there's got to be like. Wait, he still forgets. No, there's got <laughs> not that. I'm like the whole it's gotta be a birthday the whole society and a is reminding him. Oh, it's it's <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Like it's in the papers, it's like, on the cards, it's everywhere, and he somehow still forgets. It's like, hey, happy Valentine's Day, and I'm just like. Cool. Oh, but he forgot that it was also a birthday. No, I'm just kidding. He's he. Who is this mysterious? They he? have. What never... are you doing here? If there's a he. <laughs> exactly. No, never forgotten. Um, yeah. That one hurt you then, didn't he? Now you're doing the psychoanalysis <laughs> thing on me. Yeah, sure. Don't they all? They're all men. Don't they all? Just yeah. Come on, let's. No, let's I've heard the, I want to hear the man hate rant. Uh, well, I mean, to be fair, I've heard people in the past. People have heard me in the past. It goes. It's, it's, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be on both sides to really, really understand yourself and find what you want in a relationship, I guess. What like, do you want in a relationship? What do I want in a relationship? Tall. Just kidding. Um, yeah, the, the cliche list, but no, someone, yeah. someone, I think like just, it sounds cliche, but kindness is just like at the top of my list. Mm. And then just someone who's like, so he doesn't, he doesn't kick puppies. Doesn't kick puppies. Got it. Yeah to start with and somebody who's just like intelligent I think like career oriented passionate about what they're doing is also at the top of my list has to be like in a yeah I, I don't and people think it's like oh money whatever no it's it's actually just like you have more intelligent conversations with someone who has a intelligent career so yeah. it's like well, someone yeah. with ambition and drive tends to have yeah exactly exactly any any kind of ambition drive um yeah, something going for you, basically. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that is what I love. And yeah, trust, communication, all that jazz. Yeah, what about you? Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll just lump all that together. Like, yeah, ah, but it's just like a throwaway comment. <laughs> trust, I can trust him, whatever. <laughs> like, no, I'm not going to talk about my trust issues here, but <laughs> <laughs> let's but, throw that aside. Throw, move on from there. Move on, move okay, on, yeah. yeah. What about you? What's your. Can you milk a cow? Can you milk a cow? Is that a. Um, it's a criteria. Question. Oh, it's a question. okay. Um, yeah, he should be able to. No, can you milk? I'm asking you. Can I milk my a cow? Part of my criteria. Can, can I milk a cow? Can I live yeah. on a farm? Yes. That's good. That's good. That's a good start. Is that like a? Is that on the top of your list of? Yeah, I'm buying a farm right now. Oh wow! Yeah. Didn't didn't take you as a farm. I grew up on farms. God. Oh wow! Yeah. How come you went from like farms to like this? I'm a, I'm a complicated this guy. This look. I'm a very complicated okay. man. A complicated guy. Not uh, why couldn't I wear this on a farm? Well, you could. These, these khaki colored pants, I could definitely pull that off on a farm. Mm -hmm. Probably not the white shirt to get dirty, but. Yeah, you know. yeah, fair enough. That's so your that... job. You can you can wash it afterwards. Oh, but this, do you, that's my job? Why not? Well, oh, so you believe in gender roles? <laughs> of course. Uh, what if, they work. So you don't. You, I, I've heard many men say that, but 
so you ideally wouldn't want your wife to have a career. She wouldn't need to. She wouldn't need to, but what if she wants to? I'll take care of it. Cool, but what if she wants to do something? Well, then what? what then what's happening to the baby? So the, the baby's baby? get, the baby's just gonna sit in the corner, get neglected while while you're off having uh, a career. Uh, the baby. Um, you think you can do both? You can act on a stage with the baby in your hand. Mm hmm. Interesting. Or my my wonderful friends would hold the baby and take care of it. I would have enough money, or you said you would have enough money to um, take care of her. So hire I have a enough, nanny. I have enough money so that you don't have to work. Hire a nanny, <laughs> or again, that's what you're for. So, Aishi, how was your date? It was good. It was a very good first date. We had so much to talk about, so I thought it went quite well. Yeah. What are some things you liked? and what might have been a bit of a red, red flag, if there were any red flags. Mm. I think he was, uh, he has really nice eyes. He has got like nice blue eyes. Um, he was very nice, um, asked a lot of questions, which I thought was nice. Not a lot of guys do that on dates. Yeah, they tend to talk about themselves, but he was very conversational. Um, and well, I wouldn't say it's a red flag because it's an opinion. Um, and I think we, it was, it was clear we deferred on this one thing, which is like women, gender roles, like women being able to work and not work. Because um, I am quite like a career, like I have four jobs. I mean, acting is one of them. And then I have like marketing and just consultant, just jobs going on. And I, I kind of do them to be independent. Yeah, money is like one part of it, but mm -hmm. a huge part of it is just like me having these interests and passions and I wouldn't want to like give it up. Um, after marriage at the same time um, even if yeah. you could uh, yeah even if I could um, like if I if I had an if my if my husband earned enough that's great um, if I didn't need to financially but I would things like acting like maybe okay maybe there's some jobs out of those four that I do for money um, to feel like I have my own money um, but there's acting I don't do for money I do it because I'm passionate about it I've always been passionate about it. my mom's an actor so I think I wouldn't want to give that up after marriage I mean my whole life isn't going to be just my it and I feel like yeah this is my personal take on it it's not going to be just my family just the way my husband's life is not just the fam just his family my kids life is not going to when, when they grow up is not going to be just their family so everybody deserves like an individual side of um well something going on that's just meant for them because at the end of the day you are kind of like alone in this world you die alone or whatever but you need to have something like of your own like your own baby or your own passion going for you um there's ways to work around like how how do we take care of children there's always ways when there's a well there's a way i believe in that and yeah so is there anything else that you feel like maybe differed between the both of you um i think we are actually similar in a lot of ways um we relate to each other because we're younger siblings that's one of the things and i feel like yeah that was we have um he's he's very smart i could tell he's quite intelligent um conversation was intelligent uh and i don't think aside from that at least from what we had a very short conversation but aside from the um gender roles thing i don't think we're all that different yeah, yeah and do you think the gender roles thing say this date leads to another date and then another date in the long term do you think the gender roles thing would, would lead to some problems down the line it definitely could because i think both of us if, if it was like a bit like gray like if we were in the gray area but because both of us have very extreme views on the two things and so i think even i mean you could sail through it and ignore those but those are like big issues they're not like they're not like oh vegetarian non vegetarian kind of thing <laughs> yeah things that you can work around um I, I, I would love to just we wanted to talk for longer so i would love to just have a conversation with him as he's he's a great guy um but i think these issues would would surface up at some point in the long run so yes to a second day on the condition that you guys can talk through your value systems yeah yeah i'd say so um so, so, yeah i guess yeah yeah I think I think the second date is also like I'm just curious to know his thoughts and okay. um, understand like wh what who he is as a person. He said he's a complex person. I'm a complex person. It's like it's just really nice to sometimes just sit over coffee and talk about things and not necessarily like think about oh his future. This is uh, yeah whatever yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. So Sterling, you just had your date with Ayushi. Mm -hmm. How was it? She was a super interesting person. Very, very lovely. Easy to talk to. Yeah. 
easy to banter with and, and like uh, rip off. Mm -hmm. That's for me. That's something I actually look for in a person. If I'm if I'm if I'm, if I'm on a date with a girl and it's like a struggle to like maintain a conversation, it means like she has to she has to be really like she has to be ticking a whole lot of boxes for me to like put that that grind in. Like if she can milk a cow. Like if she can milk a cow. Uh, like if she's like eighteen. Then I'll okay. Then I'll put a bit more effort. In it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But but you do. I, I didn't even ask that girl her age. But I do find that girls who are a bit older tend to be a bit better at conversation. True. I'm not sure how old she was. I, I would say I think she was probably 23, 24, maybe. I'm not sure. But I wanted to know what were sort of three things that stood out to you with her. It doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be bad. Just three things that stood out. She was very playful. I liked how playful she was. That was fun. She was very well spoken. Which is always really nice, and I don't know, like very, uh, like, like worldly in a good way, uh, not worldly in like a hoe kind of way. Hasn't been flown out by billionaires. Yeah, I mean, she just went with her family to yeah. places, but she's able to like, yeah, talk about that. To me, that's that's a, that makes her a very interesting woman. Did anything stick out to you that might have been a red flag? Uh, just at the end, when she started talking, when I <laughs> talked about like um, her gender roles and her uh, taking care of a kid and her wanting to create, that's a big red flag. You reckon you could have swayed Easy. her? Yeah, she did say that, you know, she was... Because she, so, she was super keen to continue that conversation. Oh, she said the same that thing That tells me, me Absolutely. I, that means, like, that means there's, there's, there's wiggle room. I think there is potential wiggle room. I, I definitely think she could be convinced. But she did say that that might be something that presents issues in the future. However, <laughs> she said it's something that would need to be talked through, which hopefully means that she's open to hearing other sides of it. Yeah. I reckon if you presented a good enough argument, you might be able to, to sway her. Yeah. But unfortunately, she's not my type, so. So overall, second date on the table or off the table? Uh, no. She's a lovely girl, but not my type. So. Red Pill Bachelor is unsuccessful this round. <laughs>